It was quite an honor for CCU men's basketball to be the first American college team to ever play games in Cuba. And last Friday, when the Stars and Stripes went up over the U.S. Embassy in Havana for the first time in more than half a century, the CCU players got to see it happen. I realized how important it is for, like, for our country and for Cuba, too. I mean, that's a big historic thing. and We, we got a chance to be there while, while it happened. So. During their week in Cuba, the Shants played three exhibition games against the Cuban national team. The Shants say the Cubans were talented players, along with being friendly and welcoming, as were the other Cubans they met. They're all good people. They'll treat you like your friends, like they've known you for years from day one. And they, they really welcome Americans there, and they, and they really enjoy us as company. The players did a lot more than just play basketball. They also learned about life in Cuba and how it compares to life in the USA. It's just the living qualities, you know, it's not clean. They got to go through so much. I mean, the way they get paid, all that is just way different. We should be grateful, all of us. Communication was difficult during the tour. Wilson says he had to rely heavily on a teammate who spoke a little Spanish. But the players say it was a fun and educational trip, and they hope it's not the last one. I would like to go back and visit one day. In Conway, Joel Allen, ABC 15 News.